Hello, so、um, I'm Maya, and in this chapter, we are going to do the ranking. Let's see, let's see the model. So I got the texture from Rizum. She painted this, so I assigned it here. But if you you haven't got the texture yet, it's okay. You maybe you can blow it in like this. So you can do it in two ways because for many three D software artists, they prefer to freeze the model. Okay, let's try, but、uh, I will delete the layer later. Okay, so because when we add the bones. And we may be selecting the mesh which we do not want. So actually, we are going to create a skeleton for the body first. Then, um, here we go. So actually, what we will do for the rig is human eye cake, which is very commonly used by many motion capture studios because it's very easy to rig and um can be applied to many softwares. In Autodesk Maya, there there are another、uh, plugin which is very famous, which is oh I'll search for you, Advanced Skeleton. But we are not going to use this time because the mocap studios I work with, um, they prefer human IK more than Advanced Skeleton. But Advanced Skeleton is a very powerful plugin for rigging the character if you want to do very Complicated character animation,、uh, a lot of functions, which is very good. But it is a bit complicated, more complicated than the human IK for mocap. So we will be doing the human IK ah、uh, for because I rarely use this. You can actually drag one skeleton. And、um, ah,、uh, okay, never mind. We will do it from scratch. Oh, okay, never mind. Ah,、uh, because I I I I never use this. <laughs> okay, so ah,、uh, oops. I rarely use this. Ah,、um, yeah, yeah. Which is import the human IK template. Okay, let let's try. So um, okay, so let's see. So actually, this is the human IK template, and um, there are bones and there are mesh. We don't need the mesh, and uh, we will delete the mesh. But this is not what we want. Why? Because um, the bone structure is not um what we want. And for Unity, we got three spine bones, but here we got four spine bones. Um, which is maybe for Unreal, they prefer more spine bones. But for Unity, there is something called humanoid, which is exactly, ah,、uh, very the same with the human IK. So the structures are not, and also the fingers. You see that one more right here, which is not preferred. So we don't use this way. We don't use the import human IK ah、uh, example. We don't use this. We can create from scratch. So we can um only see this model. And put the joints. So, ah,、uh, okay. So before we do the rigging, one of the thing we have to do is um clean up all the models. Let's say ah,、uh, I will select all the models. Yeah, I will select mod all the models, and then um, I will do modify, freeze transformation, so that all they they are all clean in this ah、uh, rotation and translate into zero, and the scale is one. Um, the rotation is aligned to world two. So another step I will do is modify reset transformation, which will make all of the models perfect on the floor, which is ah、uh, on the ground zero 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 x y z equals zero zero zero. Okay. So now, and okay, I will also delete by type history, or delete by type non deformer history. Ah,、uh, because I haven't do the blend shape yet, so I I can use the delete history. Okay, so you clean up the history; they are clean, and now we are here. Here, here we go. 
So we only see the model, uh, body model, and we will do the human IK red. And um, right here we got rigging, and then we skeleton, we create, create a drawing, and then uh, yeah, you can, let's say I, I'll create uh, at anywhere, uh, maybe the top wheel, I'll quit, and then uh, I move them to zero. So uh, we will got a rig, uh, we will got a joint at the ground, which is called root, which is to, it is easier for the mocap team to easily drag the whole character around and then uh, scale them or rotate them when, let's say, they got uh, multiple characters in the motion builder software. Okay, you got one on the floor and you can duplicate them. Uh, duplicate one, control D, duplicate. And then uh move one uh upper. So I can't see the join why because I haven't enabled the uh, this one this thing the X ray join. So let's see uh shading X ray join which is right here shading X ray join. So in case you don't got this, it's Shift M to uh show this menu bar. Okay, so um uh, maybe the join is too small. So um I will be go to display and then uh animation and join size. I can increase or reduce the join size. So uh change it according to your needs. Okay, or you can um select the bone and change the radius right here too. Uh but it's better that we got the default. It's uh nice. Okay. So I guess I Yes, I will be changing the mesh backwards a bit. So in the side view, we see that the hips, we see that the hips, okay, the hips is in the uh, Z equals to zero. Yeah, it's better to keep the model right here. So um, the model is a bit uh, too far. So I will be selecting the model, but let's see. When I select the model, oh, I cannot select the model. What I'm selecting is the bone. Because um the selection priority of bone is um uh, very higher than mesh, so I can turn off this selection uh filter so I can select the mesh, and then uh what we want to do is move the vertex backwards or face any uh, as you like. So I'm uh, removing them. Let's say for the hips somewhere like this, and uh let's say the leg start with here, and then go downwards. Uh, something like this. Okay, cool. Okay, so we'll continue with the bone. Uh, let's enable it again. So for this bone, we call that hips. And then um, we will do the spine. Um, so the spine is actually um just about okay. I'll show the body. I'll try for you. So actually, we got the pelvis. We got the pelvis joint. Uh, we got the pelvis right here, which is a bone. But I'll simplify them as geometries. So we got a bone. So in this bone, we won't won't bend. We we won't bend it. There won't be a joint right here. No, no, no. It's just above the joint will be above the uh, uh pelvis, and then um we got the rib cage. Somewhere right here. Some something like this. And uh, we got the clavicle and then the arms. So um we won't have a lot of bending right here. We we might got a little, but um we don't place so because I, I've seen many people, uh, we might be putting the joint right here. And um, uh, we, we will be putting the joint right here above the pelvis. And then um, the next one may be right here. So the three uh, body joints will be right here. So um, for the leg, for the leg, we see. Um, so it's actually somewhere like right here. So you do a uh, 45 degree uh line right here and uh in the middle of here you've got a joint right here 
and then uh go downwards to the knee and the feet something like that so uh the folk the shoulder may be somewhere like this arms uh hands so we, we okay for the neck uh somewhere like this on the head somewhere like this yeah okay so the knees so the knees are here and the ankle maybe we will uh see that inside will better the knees you can uh, move that a bit forward yeah so let's say uh somewhere like this and then this is the toe and then the toe end yeah something like this